Story Time with Madame Delina. Yay! Hello, boys and girls. Madame Delina's delighted to see you. Do you have a noisy friend, or are you the noisy one? Our story today is about my favorite animal, the giraffe, who happened to be the loudest animal on the Great African Plain. Do you know that giraffes have really, really long tongues? Stick out your tongue. How long is it? Maybe as long as a sour. Well, do you know, boys and girls, that a giraffe's tongue can grow up to 50 centimeters long. That's about six sour worms put together, or the length of this ribbon. Imagine that! Hmm, now I feel like eating the sour worm. But let's dive into our story. Are you ready to read with me? Say yeah! Awesome! Laughing Giraffe by Mwenye Haditi and Adrian Kenaway. In the days long ago, when Warthog was beautiful and Hippo lived only on the land, Giraffe was the noisiest animal on the great African plain. He shouted a lot and he laughed all the time. In the lucky bean tree, where the little weaver birds rested, Giraffe would pop his head up through the branches and take a mouthful of leaves and <laughs> with laughter. The little weaver birds fell out of the tree with fright. In the wild date palms, where the little sunbird snoozed, Giraffe would pop his head up through the leaves and take a mouthful of ripe fruit and <laughs> with laughter. The little sunbirds were thrown out of their nests. In the tall reeds where the little kingfishes perched, Giraffe would pop his head up through the branches and take a mouthful of water and <laughs> with laughter. The little kingfishes tumbled into the water. One day, when the little egrets were sitting on a toothbrush bush, enjoying the warm sun, giraffe gave them such a fright that the littlest egret fell into a mud puddle. <laughs> Laughed giraffe. Giraffe! The littlest egret scolded. You are loud and noisy and mean. Anybody can be noisy all the time. Even I could be as noisy as you if I wanted to. You? That's a laugh, shouted Giraffe. Then we will have a competition to see who has the loudest voice. The littlest egret challenged him. Agree, laughed Giraffe. Then let us go into the forest and we will shout back to the plain and see who has the loudest voice, said the littlest egret. And I shall judge the competition, offered Kudu. The sun was just above giraffe's left knee when they passed the lucky bean tree where the weavers rested. The sun was just above giraffe's neck and they passed under the wild date palms where the sunbirds snooze. And it was just behind Giraffe's head when they finally stopped by the tall reeds where the little kingfishers were fishing. Now you must shout and tell the animals on the plain what you want for dinner, said Kudu. Easy, yelled Giraffe. I want leafy thorn tree tips for my dinner. And in a voice that could just be heard above the breeze, the littlest egret shouted, I want little brown beetles for my dinner. As they turned to head home, the little kingfishers flew high in the air singing, Little brown beetles. As they passed the wild date palms, 
the little sunbird flitted from flower to flower, singing, Little brown beetle. And as they passed the lucky bean tree, the little weavers were chattering, Little brown beetle. When they finally reached the plain, Kudu asked the giraffes, What have you got for giraffes dinner tonight? Today we have crunchy toothbrush tips, said the giraffes. But I wanted leafy thorn tree tips, shouted giraffe crossly. Well, why didn't you say something, said the giraffes. Kudu then asked the egrets, What have you got for the listless egrets dinner tonight? Little brown beetles, said the egrets. That is what she calls for. Then the littlest egret has the loudest voice, said Kudu. I declare she is the winner. The next day, wherever Giraffe went, he heard all the animals on the great plain whispering, The littlest egret has the loudest voice. And he stayed very silent. And so today, Giraffe doesn't shout anymore, and he certainly doesn't <laughs> like he used to. He keeps quiet as quiet. But now and then, Giraffe gives a little <laughs> of a laugh, and the other animals don't mind a bit. The end. Well, it looks like giraffe wasn't the loudest animal after all. Do you know that giraffes are the tallest land animals? Their legs alone are taller than any adult human. And no two giraffes have the same spot pattern. They're unique, just like human fingerprints. Madame Deline is delighted to have told you the story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more awesome stories and share with your friends. And if you'd like me to visit your birthday or your school, ask a grown-up to send me an email. Now it's time for me to eat my sour room and say goodbye, goodbye, goodbye for today. I'll see you next time. So hip, hip, hooray! Mm. <laughs>